Hello, welcome to Sunday. And uh, it struck me, well, it, it, it's sort of in the air, really, uh, that um, for many years I've been worrying that people go to university and they're more interested in showing their university certificate than they are in demonstrating their real skills. Um, certainly in some countries I've been to, they're obsessed with my university certificates, many of which I've completely forgotten where they are. Um, now, you know, Elon Musk today is on record as saying um, that, uh, that, that, we want, that we want to promote people with skills rather than people who've just got academic bump. Uh, he's speaking my language, absolutely. And when we're thinking of, you know, academic or, or bump in general, we can think that it's been two years, two years today, I think, uh, since Boris became um, Prime Minister, since Boris became the leader of the Conservative Party. And what was the choice? The choice was between, uh, I think at one point, choice was between three people. It, 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 it narrowed down to two. But the choice was between Gove, the donkey, Hunt, the man who's made spoonerism fashionable, and Boris, the buffoon. The buffoon or the donkey or the spoonerism. And then if we look at Boris's predecessor, or prevaricator, Mrs May, would we want her back, a lady who cannot see beyond a bit of paper, um, be beyond a bit of paper she's just read, uh, beyond a bit of bureaucracy uh, placed in front of her. Now that is how she ran the Home Office, that is how she ran the country, uh, with no um, frame of reference except for what was in print. You know, I incredibly incredibly limited field of vision, poor dear. Put her back in her field of wheat with a caravan. Oops, now, now we've got a prime minister who cannot even see the bureaucracy, who cannot even be bothered to read what's in front of him. Um, and, you know, buffoon. We should keep it in the family, actually, because if you look at um, Dr. Johnson's dictionary, the first dictionary, Dr. Johnson gives a very good definition of what a buffoon is. A buffoon is someone who makes, uh, a, 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 someone whose profession is to make sport by low jests or antic postures. Low jests or antic postures. So, you know, this is the stuff of TikTok. Uh, so, so something I've never quite understood. Um, and by the 17th century, the word buffoon had moved from uh, simply describing a clown or a jester um, who, uh, who, who, who puffed out his cheeks, buffare, uh, buffa, um, uh, it, rather than being the person who is the author of humour, the buffoon is now the butt of humour. Not blown out, puffed out, buffare, but puffed up with vanity and pride in a world where only his wife, or uh, now maybe his ex-wife, um, as Sarah Vine might, um, might, might, might have it a, a few weeks ago, where she said, um, only, uh, only the wife will see him as he truly is. But the buffoon. This is a world, this is a world now predicated on buffoonery, uh, on TikTok, and um, silly pranks, where pranks count more than policy or prudence, and pranks lead to death and danger and, 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 and stupidity. And we learnt today, um, uh, within, within the last day, uh, the, the, there's a story coming out about a little boy of 12 who has died because he was uh, following encouragement from TikTok to take part in a particularly vile uh, prank challenge. Uh, there is only, you, you know, one of the problems with humour, uh, I, I, I think humour is very important. I think humour is particularly important in politics. Um, but one of the problems with humour is there is always a but, there is always an object of ridicule.
Often it's oneself. If one's prepared to send oneself up, if one's prepared to be the butt of ridicule, welcome, welcome to the stage. Um, equally, if one has a suitable point of reference for satire, welcome to the stage. But some of these pranks in the supermarkets, uh, where, where, where people think it's fun to attack other people, and then they pass it off, that nastiness, they pass it off as humour. This is not humour, this is vile, vile behaviour. Or when one encourages, when people encourage small children to do stupid things in the name of, in the name of publicity, uh, in the name of fame. Fame is a... Fame is an illusory thing. You know, don't seek fame. Uh, seek instead to do what is right. Seek instead to gain the skills which will be useful for the rest of your life. So that's the message for today. Please, uh, it, 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 it's rather dark for a Sunday, I'm so sorry. Um, but I, I, I'll think of something more... Uh, lively and entertaining to um, make a video about later on today. Um, so please do um, do uh, press the bell, ring the bell, ping the bell, if that's not an inappropriate thing to say uh, during the pin ping-demic. Ping the bell and follow my, um, my, 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 my YouTube account, please, Zontal Films Limited, and I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.